Ooh, it's recording. So I have come home from work. Well, I went to go pick Milo up after work because my penis looked appealing. Because boy was at work in it. He's still at work. But um, yeah, that's all my to be honest. But yeah, I've come home. I'm like. My landlady has said I have to move out by like the 1st of November. So I'm kind of like pissed about that. But also recently, of like what's going on like in on the social media or off of social media, um, like Andrew Tate and things. And just I've just been going down like a hole, just a rabbit hole of, um, as I'm sure most people have, uh, of just men on the internet that are just or some kind of Andrew Tate like then they're you know um, no they're not probably not all copying him I'm sure lots of people or a few people or whoever may now be copying uh, his persona whatever to um get more attention and and whatever. <laughs> whatever I can't really talk but but my point is my point is they're always flexing about their money and like young girls and what or young women not young girls sorry gosh that's wrong isn't it young women um and it was like, how much money there? I'm like, have you seen how much money these young, beautiful women, or just young women, or just young people are making on the internet? I have made money on the internet, as I'm sure many people have, especially since the pandemic. You know, obviously I'm talking about adult content and porn, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. Mm. But I've been, um, I have been in, I've been in the porn industry for six years. Probably like nearer seven, but, um. Which is something, which is something. I still remember uh, when I started, I was so nervous. I didn't even show my face uh, until last year. <laughs> is it 2021? I don't think it was 2020. I think it was 2021. So, you know, people have only known my face in that for for that long but that was because of the rise the rise in adult content creators as people like like that's what we call them now isn't it that's that's what we call them uh and yeah i was like whoa if all these because i had struggled for so long i think five years of my life i five years of my life five years of my time as I don't really do porn anymore, so it would probably would just be like six years, yo. Yeah, yo, just like done. I'm tr I'm doing I'm doing the pigi, the pigi now because I've got to, haven't I? I can't. Well, and you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that I'm I am because, as I was gonna say, I struggle for so long to show my face because I was just so scared that somebody from my work or somebody would tell my work, like other my work would find out somehow. And it just really, really stressed me out. I deleted, if you, if you are a long time fan of just me, uh, then I deleted all of my content and then I started doing it again, like, what, nine months later maybe? I don't really know. Content was on Reddit. I had like done things on other sites. Um, 
But yeah, this we're just talking about this now. This now. Reddit, isn't it? Um Yeah, I deleted it all because I was so anxious and paranoid and worried and scared. I was terrified, terrified that somebody would Oh my gosh, I had a friend. No, it wasn't about that though, it was about something else, so um yeah it was just a friend who said like the most horrible thing that they could do like to me not like physically to me just like yeah well, I was like all right just basically get me to lose my job kind of kind of thing I don't I don't know uh yeah sorry no. yeah yeah um but yeah I was so scared I was gonna lose my job so I deleted it all Whatever, and I missed it, and I miss sex sales. I get that. I've got a whole, I've got a whole thing coming up about that. A whole thing. I've been writing in my book. I've been collecting the information, right? Just about what what the crack is. So I know I haven't even finished my point that I was gonna gonna say in the beginning about all these men and their flaunting of their wealth or whatever whatever um sorry i'm just thinking about work like <laughs> gosh yeah no oh now i've lost what i was actually gonna say oh this man though i don't know mimi has just made well, yes, they made it. Well, posted some video, Chris something. Um, I won first first man vids on on TikTok. I think. Yeah. Um, I listened to like five of his videos, and I was like, I just have, just I just just it was just hurting my ears. Not even just like what he was saying, just <laughs> I just couldn't listen to it. I don't know, I don't know. I do have sensitive ears, so but I just, I just couldn't listen to it. No way, no way, Jose. Um, yeah, okay, right. What have I written? Oh, god, oh, I can't wait, I can't wait, but I'm just writing like too much. I would show you, but I don't want to like. I don't want to like, I should just show, nobody cares that much. I've like, look, I've even got like, it's all like that. We've highlighted it, we've highlighted it. That's not all of it, I won't show anymore. Because I'm going to make a video, but it's probably going to have to be like a series of videos. And it's just going to be called. Cool. I can't, I'm not going to say what it's going to be called because I don't want someone to take it. Do you know what I mean? Or not that anybody would because who the freak cares? It's just going to be like a collection of all my thoughts about sex and toxic masculinity and toxic feminine. Feminism? Woke feminism? It's toxic though, I'm sorry. If we're calling it toxic masculinity, we're calling it toxic femininity. Because it's not feminism, is it? It's not feminism. Feminism is a quality. You see, this is all things I'm going to bloody touch on. You know, right, I'm going to have to go because I've got like 50 seconds left on, on, on my little game. Sorry, that was a bit up. That was a bit up close and personal, isn't it? I'm just tired. Probably need to go to sleep. Bye. I'll see you soon.